Hello. When you create a polygon object, like a cylinder for example, and you look at that round cylinder, it turns out it's not round. It has edges here. And actually this cylinder, which is a cylinder primitive as it's called here, has lots and lots of faces. If I go to right mouse click face, all the faces here, probably 20 or so. Um, a polygon cylinder is a complex and the problem with polygons and roundness is so basic that I need to do a tutorial now about the basic modeling using NURBS, which is the other world of um, creating surfaces. It's sitting here and it always, basically always starts with curves which might look a little bit tedious, but uh, no, it isn't. A curve is a very elegant thing and it's mathematically simple, which is a compliment. It's good to be mathematically simple. And you'll see this by um, clicking here. Um, now I press and hold the key X because I want to snap my first, my, the starting point of the new curve on in the center of the grid here now it's sitting here and I do the same here pressing X while I place the the points and then I go up like this and then I go down like this basically making not much more points than before and now I snap to that grid and I press enter. Now the curve is finished and this is the curve I have and now I use the first of the four um, NURBS modeling commands I want to demonstrate today. It's called a revolve. This is the icon for the revolve. Of course you find it under the surfaces pull down menu as well. So with this, surf, uh, with this curve selected I click on this icon and now I get a what is called a revolved surface. You see it's a mug and uh, it's huge and it's huge because the curve which made the mug is so large. New scene, loft. A loft spans a surface between two or more curves. Curve number one. I press G to get the last command Again, I press G, get the last command, and I press G again to get the last command again. So the curves are more or less of the same topology, although not really of the same. Some have, I think, five points or six, and others have only four CVs here. Um, I modify them a little bit. Actually, I can modify all of them. Press F8 and select the middle ones, move them up rotate them a little bit like this so they're a little bit no, they're, they're not that straight anymore F8 we're back in the object mode now uh, this tool you find the uh, the way how it works further down here in the description uh, when I hold uh, place my mouse over the loft command it tells you down there Loft, select curves, isoperms or trim edges. That's what I'll do now. And uh, it's crucial to select uh, the curves in a certain uh, sequence. So don't select this one, then this one, and that one. Uh, because it creates an odd surface afterwards. Uh, this is the way I select the curves. And then I click here. And then I have a, this nice surface. As you can already see how surfaces like these uh, are, can be used in the automotive industry and that's basically where they come from. And check how simple it is. It has only so few lines here as opposed to the cylinder we saw before. The polygon cylinder needs much more detail. And of course you can uh, modify this using the curves. Uh, like um, like this. The history is always here. OK. 
can go here like this um, and you can if you want and maybe for a computer game you need to convert this to a polygon uh, uh, select the, uh, the surface go to modify convert and nerves to polygons uh, you will see it's a little bit depressing what's happening now uh, and you need a lot of attention for the curve for the surface you're creating I mean this one has edges here although it's pretty detailed and it tries to resemble the NURBS the really smooth NURB surface down there but um, of course you can add more detail here uh, basically the appreciation for NURBS surfaces is uh, they are so elegant in a, in a mathematical way and if we assign a new material like a blind for example we see how nicely they shine extremely smooth okay let's delete that wonderful smooth surface now and uh, now I will tell you the next command this is the one and down there it says um, extrude uh, select curves or trim edges select the path last uh, I guess we need a path and let's create a, well yeah a NURBS circle and rotate it like this now let's select this curve and a circle and the extrude command this is what it gives us back you see black outside and gray inside that means immediately uh, reverse the direction of that surface so now it looks better here and you get this object here which has to do with the circle and with a curve uh, in the center of the object it's actually not centering on the object it tries to make a, prof a compromise between the two curves I just created um, and of course you can manipulate things like this and get really interesting effects you see if you want to create a turbine of, a, of an airplane this is the way to go of course uh, if you um, select the two or original curves um, in a different sequence so the I think uh, the, the circle first and the curve uh, last you get another profile curve which is all also interesting and, and in order to get it really controlled you can always snap one curve to another so you get a, um, a surface which is directly uh, oriented to the both curves enough said about this command Let's delete the surface and now comes this command here which is called you see down there by rail one two select curve as a palm or trim edges it's uh, it's a command which uh, leads us through a process and you will see uh, that it can cause a problem if you don't uh, start with the proper uh, um, setup so let's click here down there you see by rail one tool select the profile curve okay let's say this is the profile curve and now it tells me profile curve is selected select two rail curves now I select this one and this one and it gives me an error I there is a surface created but I cannot see it and the reason for that is it basically says the, the surface is there but you can't see it it's a bit odd really but uh, it says that there's something wrong with the basic setting of uh, that um, creation and let's delete this surface which we can't see anyway the by rail tool needs uh, something which connects the two rails and we can easily create that uh, let's delete this curve 
and that curve so we have two curves in the scene now and nothing else um, we create a, a thing a rail actually these are the rails I guess we create a profile and we need to snap the profile to the two curves so press and hold the key C which is stands for curve snapping you see I have this starting point of the new curve sitting on the first curve and now you go to the other curve and before clicking there you press C again and you snap on the second surface and now you press enter and you have a curve which is exactly connecting the two uh, curves here if we press F8 to see the component uh, components we see only four uh, let's press 8 again and rebuild the curve in order to have a more interesting profile we do that by curves and rebuild it's down here and I don't know what's uh, selected here I think the default is 4 uh, let's choose 10 for example apply and close now the it doesn't look different but if I press F8 I see there's a lot more CVs here and I can select some and no that's too much can select some press B in order to get uh, rid of the soft selection tool and this is what I'll do now press F8 again and I'm back in the object mode and the three curves are still connected now let's try that command again okay I press here down there it says by rail 1 2 tool select the profile curve that's our profile curve we've selected it now we need select to select two rail curves one and two and here is the surface we have <sighs> existing material is the blin so it gets a little bit more shiny and of course since we have the profile select um, um, detail now with 10 points here we can go back into the modification and do this for example and we get the uh, the bed of a river you can create a landscape with this very easily and remember the geometry is very simple look at this beautiful smooth surface made out of very very few patches under surfaces you find lots of more um, tools to create surfaces but the ones I showed you are the basic ones by rail 3 tool is interesting too because it creates a surface from four or more curves you span another curve here between the two railing curves here like it could go here and then you get a surface which is only spanning over here this part for example so you can um, create very detailed um, surfaces in that way with using four corners basically <laughs>